In Patagonia's Los Glaciares National Park in the south of Argentina is the region's second largest glacier, the Viedma Glacier. The huge glacier can only be reached by boat across the Lago Viedma. Over thousands of years, the powerful forces of erosion have carved out caves into the rock beneath the ice flow. The journey to the Viedma Glacier is not limited to traveling by water. Passengers disembark the boat via a convenient jetty. After a short but steep walk along a path that has been cut into the rock, we reach the edge of the mighty glacier. The glaciers of the Los Glaciares National Park really do form the landscape here. Thus, over time, many fascinating rock forms have been created. Eroded rocks are an indication of the global warming that is affecting the glaciers of Patagonia. The rocks that the glacier took with it, from tiny pebbles to those weighing several tons, left traces beneath the ground. Small stones that are carried along with the glacier act like sandpaper on the rocks below. For visitors to the Viedma Glacier, the most thrilling and spectacular leg of the journey lies ahead. A walk into its ice fields. Climbing irons are fitted and the adventure is about to begin. After expert instruction from the guide, the journey onto the icy glacier commences. Among the most beautiful and unforgettable impressions on the eternal ice of the Viedma are the many deep caves that have been formed according to various prevailing conditions. In summer, the melting ice takes on an almost artistic, natural power and flows down over the rocks into the valley below. Another visual delight of this amazing journey into the fairy tale world of the glacier is the play of color on the ice. In addition to the color of the ice, it's also the fantastic shapes of the frozen water that make the Viedma Glacier so outstanding. In some places, individual stones are enclosed within the ice. They're a reminder of the enormous might of the glacial ice that forms this landscape. The shining, turquoise, several meter thick layers of ice impress all who see it. It's a truly awesome sight. Clearly, it's not only the natural beauty of the glaciers that's highly prized. 
It's also the fresh water that they supply that's very important to our planet. Nowhere else on Earth does one get the feeling of the insignificance of man compared to the glacial giants of Patagonia. This world of ice imparts a feeling of timelessness for those who experience it. These relics of the Ice Age have dominated the landscape for millions of years. Gazing into the ice is like looking into an amazing world. A world full of primeval, dramatic and mysterious beauty. It is in the warm months of summer that the largest sections of ice break off from the glaciers. A magnificent sight. Visitors to the park witness this natural spectacle that has taken place each summer for thousands of years. The Los Glaciares National Park also contains mountains. The Cerro Fitzroy is a dream destination for hikers and mountaineers from all over the world. As we travel higher, the landscape becomes more barren, but there are fantastic views across the picturesque valley and river. In addition to the steep incline, it's the strength of the wind that makes progress increasingly difficult, and some of the gusts are particularly powerful. Both flora and fauna have gradually adapted to the harsh conditions of this region. From October until March, the thermometer climbs to an average temperature of 11 degrees Celsius. And it rarely rises above this. Short stops are important, as they often spawn a few surprises, such as animals and rare plants growing alongside the path that are not visible at first sight. The highlight of any walk through the mountains in the northern part of Los Glaciares National Park is the Mirador Fitzroy, Here, the weather is very changeable. In a time period of only a few hours, it's possible to experience all four seasons of the year. As suddenly as the sky grows dark, it brightens up again, and the sharp peaks of the mighty Cerro Fitzroy shine in the sunlight. Lago Viedma and Cerro Fitzroy, a fantasy world of ice and rock. <laughs> 